The BBKJ case that many of you have probably heard about is a remarkable symphony of science and medicine and manufacturing that is uh, a, a proof that we can integrate complicated technologies and basic science and medicine to do something remarkable, to make a custom, bespoke base editor treatment for a newly diagnosed baby with a very short timeline left to live and treat that baby in less than seven months from the baby's diagnosis shortly after birth. So about 50% of infants with uh, mutations like baby KJs end up dying in infancy. And uh, even those that survive are suffering constant brain damage. Led by Kieran Musunuru and Rebecca Ahrens Nicholas at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, they organized a team to bring together the science of base editing with methods to deliver the base editor into the liver of baby KJ, methods to manufacture the drug, Going through the whole regulatory and manufacturing process, what normally takes many years, they did all of this in a matter of about six months. It was an honor for our lab to play a small part in the Baby KJ case by uh, developing the underlying base editing technology that was used to correct the B Baby KJ's mutation back to the normal sequence, uh, and also to recommend the specific components of the base editor that eventually went into Baby KJ. Now, happily, Baby KJ is achieving milestones that are normally not achievable by uh, infants with this disease. Uh, and so, while it's still early days, the prognosis looks very good for Baby KJ and for their family. To me, the most important part of the Baby KJ case, aside from uh, treating this patient and, and transforming their life for the better, is the fact that it is an existence proof that the science, the manufacturing, the regulatory pathway, the toxicology studies, um, all of those components are robust enough that we can, on demand, make a drug that can change a single base pair in the liver of a baby that is causing the baby to die, uh, change that base pair back to the normal sequence in time to save the baby. There are many patients who suffer from genetic liver diseases that are also very serious that could benefit from this kind of path. We can use the learnings from the baby KJ case, the huge uh, amount of support from the government and from the public as a result of what came out of baby KJ's story, and begin to plot a course on how we could practically scale up the baby KJ case to treat thousands of patients. And that's what the Broad is intimately involved in right now, along with many others um, all over the country. NIH funding supported virtually all of these advancements that made Baby KJ's story possible. We know that it made possible stories like the Baby KJ story. And we also know that uh, it's an investment that takes decades to mature. It's an investment that returns threefold uh, every dollar invested back into the U.S. economy. And it's an investment that helps ensure that the United States will remain the preeminent center for this kind of biotechnology and cutting-edge medicine for the foreseeable future.